Hello, Saturday morning people. Did you just see Blue Peter? How cool was that giant walking puppet? And how cool is it that I'm now ahead in the competition to see who can appear in Blue Peter the most? What? No, no, you weren't in Blue Peter. Uh, yes, I was. I was in Joel's Big Blue Man bit. No! Well, I tried to get in that and he spotted me and sent me on my way. Well, Joel is wily, Jeff. He's wily like a fox. Mm, You've got to be really clever to get past him. You really do. No, 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 I was watching that bit really hard. There, there, was, there was Joel, there was the puppeteers, there was the giant blue walking man. You weren't there, where were you? I was the giant blue walking man, Jeff! You were the puppet that Joel was controlling. Absolutely, Jeff. Walking in the big parade, big blue giant walking man. It was me, check it. I've come to Scotland in search of a giant that was born of legend. A giant that's big, blue, and very alive. Oh, wow, it's huge. That's not what I expected. It's rude to stare, Joel. Small man. That's incredible. Meet Big Man. He's a staggering eight metres tall. That's almost the height of two double-decker buses. I'm going to get the chance to operate both his arms and legs. This is the lower arm. Yeah, so the inside Forearm. one, OK? Yeah. This one is the upper arm. You're just not getting it, are you, Joel? It's harder than it looks. It takes a lot of concentration. How are you doing? The only thing I'm doing, I'm smacking myself in the face. And lower. Ah, say it! Fine, you were right, I was wrong. I can't believe I didn't see you the first time. All right, let's get out the scoreboard then, and that is one... Nothing to me! Put the, yes! Put the one on upside down. Still my point, still counts, Jeff. Right, well, I'm going to get you back. Yeah, sure you will. Now let's drink tea while we watch Basil Brush. You can make the tea. You can make the tea. You make it, I got the point. Hi there, welcome to New Square with me, Jeff. Now, don't go anywhere, because in a few moments we have the first of this week's Sarah Jane Adventures coming up, but... Our top story is all about Jinx. You know, the new show with Lulu Baker, the modern day Cinderella, and her fairy godmother, Cookie, and a magic cookbook. Now, I've sent Dan undercover to find out a little more about this Cookie character, so should be good. <clears throat> Dan, where are you? I'm quite literally in a biscuit factory. <laughs> Sorry, for a minute there. I thought you said you are in a biscuit factory. I am, Jeff. Um, why... Why are you dressed as a giant biscuit? I'm a double fudge chocolate surprise, Jeff. I'm undercover. Um, if you're undercover in a biscuit factory, why didn't you just wear overalls and a hairnet? Didn't think it through, Jeff. Yeah, so, um, anyway, why, why are you there? Does, does Cookie work in that factory part-time? Who? Uh, Cookie? Yeah, there's a lot of people called Cookie, Jeff. Most of my friends are called Cookie. We've got Cookie, 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 and Steve. Um, apart from Steve, is everyone called Cookie? Pretty much, Jeff. They're all lovely people. By people, I mean biscuits. Except for Steve, he's a person. Uh, huh. Um, you, you, you haven't, uh, haven't found anything out about Jinx at all, have you? What are you talking about, Jeff? Uh, Dan, where's Cookie? Right here, Jeff. That's just a biscuit. How very dare you, Jeff? She's more than just a biscuit. She's my girlfriend. She won't fit in the cup. <sighs> right, yeah, wait. Well, Dan's totally lost it this time. Look, Dan, you're supposed to be interviewing Cookie from Jinx, not, not just a, a bunch of biscuits. Oh. Right, well, um, I think we'll have to leave Dan there. Maybe one day he'll do something useful. Uh, it's time now for uh, Sarah Jane Adventures and get ready to hide behind the sofa. It's a bit of a scary one. Really taking the biscuit this time, Jeff. That's the way I cr crumble. Come on, Steve, let's get out of here. Pack it up, Steve. Wow, this week's episodes of Sarah Jane Adventures are really scary, aren't they? It does not get much better than this. <laughs> Unless, of course, you've got one of the stars of Sarah Jane Adventures in the office with you. It's only K9. Hello, Blinky Blonky Bloopy. It's a pleasure for me to be here. I am K9. 
I am him. Of course. Wow. K9 in the CBBC office. Who would have thunk it? Of course, I am a huge fan of anything Doctor Who and, of course, Sarah Jane Adventures. Oh, well, thank you very much, Blinky Blonky Blinky Blue Pea. Then you must be a fan of mine because I am K9. That's me. Yeah. Now, um, you, you, you must have um, other interests. I mean, uh, you haven't appeared in the Sarah Jane Adventures for a little while now. Oh, that, that is true. Blonky, bloopy, blampy. Because although I was stuck in the um, sort of black hole mm. in the show, mm. I, I, I wasn't really there. I was out doing other things. I um, entered dog shows, bloopy, blanky, blonky. Really? I, I would have thought dog shows would be a bit difficult for you, sort of jumping through hoops and things. You, you would have struggled what, with you being on wheels. Oh, contraire. Because I am canine, that's me, mm. um, I'm very good at going through the hoops. I'll demonstrate. Uh -huh. oh, we, we can do that later. I can hover, though, look. Yeah, it looks like um, being a super advanced robot dog didn't really help you with the, uh, with the hoop there, oh, I, I, I actually find the term robot offensive. I am K9. Oh. I am him. That's me, Blonky, Blanky, Blue Pee. Of course, I'm very sorry, and I respect that. Now, now we're such good friends. Yes, I wonder, maybe yes. you could tell me whether the rumour's true or not that... The Doctor has had a conservatory extension built onto the end of the time. Well, I'd love to tell you, but I'm afraid I can't. Oh, come on, really? Because not? I'm not really canine. I'm actually your comedy partner, Dan. It's me! Ah! They don't call me Dan the Chameleon Class for nothing. I have no idea. Oh, now it's time to hide behind the sofa again for another scary episode of Sarah Jane. Yeah, Amazing. I'm in it. I'm not.